All right, guys, so I looked up front and they didn't have these, but all the way in the back, back here by the TV section is where they're keeping these awesome slipcovers. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. It is time for another Tuesday, Blues Day, Blu-ray trip. That is right, guys, we are right outside of a Best Buy. Can you see that yellow sign out there? It is beautiful, and I'm super excited to get in there and see if they have that Punisher 4K Steelbook. But beyond that, guys, there's not that much that's coming out today that we're going to see in stores. So I will be going to the FYE to see if they've got anything new. I'm also going to be hitting up a Barnes & Noble to see if we can see those new Criterions. We've got the piano coming out in 4K. We've got Dick Johnson is dead, so there's some Criterions coming out, so those are potential uh, new releases that we could see in stores today. I have the piano pre-ordered, and it's going to be arriving uh, at the house later today. Also, Dead Heat came out in 4K today, but again, that's a Vinegar Syndrome title. You order it online, so just a lot of stuff that you can order online, but I don't think that we're going to see a lot of stuff in stores today. But I do have my fingers crossed that we're going to be seeing some of those new uh, slip covers in Walmart. I didn't see them last week, but hopefully they have them this week. They look beautiful. They look awesome. I hope that they have them. But yeah, guys, I'm ready to go in Best Buy. I got a fresh new haircut. I'm ready to get some Blu-rays and 4Ks. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're heading into Best Buy to see if they've got any of that new crisp, clean Lionsgate steel. Oh, man, guys, they've got only one copy left of the Punisher 4K Steelbook and it's all mine so yeah i got really lucky on that one we covered this yesterday in the physical media report but the french dispatch is 14.99 right now on blu-ray and they have that deal here at best buy and also cry macho is 14.99 on blu-ray steel water is 14.99 and then you got no time to die is 14.99 on blu-ray um and no time to die they don't have any copies but that's 19.99 so some good deals here at best buy and on amazon and this godzilla versus kong for 16.99 and mortal kombat so yeah good deals on titles here one thing that i think is kind of weird is shang chi is 34.99 i don't know why it's so expensive here because i'm pretty sure it's only like 25 bucks on amazon so yeah that's pretty expensive for that that Karate Kid 4K collection looks like they got more in stock, but that's such an amazing set for 50 bucks. It's so awesome. Uh, Free Guy is $31.99, so very expensive for that release. So, but yeah, guys, just it's just a very dead day. So, let's go ahead and get out of here. Woo! I, I got super lucky. This Punisher Steelbook. Uh, was the last one in stock. So they still had plenty of Requiem for a Dream. So I don't know if they just didn't get as many copies in of this one or they just went out super quick because it is uh, like 11.45. So Best Buy's only been open for 45 minutes. I don't see it going that quickly. So I think the stock on this is a little bit more limited uh, than the other Lionsgate Steelbook. So... I don't know. I'm just super lucky. I am super happy that I got this because uh, I definitely didn't want to miss out on this one. The Punisher movie itself is okay, if I remember correctly. I do want to revisit it, see if it holds up a little better to me. But this Steelbook, look at that Steelbook, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'll probably more than likely be doing an unboxing and digital code giveaway on the channel at some point. So definitely look out for that. But yeah, guys, I, I'm just so happy that I, I got that in time. And yeah, uh, there's some good deals in Best Buy right now. So definitely look out for those. But beyond that, guys, it's just a dead week for new mainstream titles in stores. There's a lot of stuff coming out like boutique wise, but you got to order it online. So we're going to go to the FYE. We're going to see if they have some cool deals, maybe some steelbook deals, some, some cool stuff. I don't know. FYE surprises me sometimes. So let's go. Let's go to the mall today. I can't remember the last time I was at an FYE. It was probably last October, November. I don't know. Hopefully they got some good stuff. All right, guys, we're off the bat. I'm seeing this cool little horror section. They got some NECAs. They got the Halloween Kills NECA right there. So that's pretty cool. The New Blood. I do like the New Blood Jason a lot. I'm up here though, I have not seen the American Werewolf in London. And that's one of the soldiers. So that's definitely a cool new neck I haven't seen. I always get cracked up when I see the good guy cereal. Got an FYE exclusive Stephen King and a Child's Play 2 Chucky. I almost, 
I wonder how much this is. I was thinking about getting this one. This is a pretty badass uh, creep show shirt. Great design on this one. Yeah, they got some steel books, but they have seriously shrunk their physical media section. This Blues Brothers steel book, I always like the design on that. $12.99. I do already have Blues Brothers in 4K though, but that's a good price for that. Some Batman Returns action for $6.99, so that's pretty cool. On Blu-ray. Uh, I have heard good things about this Ryan Reynolds film, Buried. It's only $5.99, so not a bad price for that one. It's one of those uh, Canadian releases. Got Mercury Rising. I always remember liking this one as a kid. That's only six bucks, so good price. This cool Bruce Campbell title on DVD, Intruder. I feel like I've heard good things about this. That's some really cool artwork on that, but $14.99 for a DVD, I just can't do it. And of course they have Rob Zombie's Halloween Steelbook for 20 bucks. Yeah, um, yeah. The Scream Factory of Exorcist 3. It's a really good movie. I just watched it for the first time last year. And yeah, 30 bucks it seems like a decent price, but still not a great one. Um, this Hostel double pack. Pretty cheap for two Hostel movies, seven bucks. I don't own either one of these on, on Blu-ray, so that might be a pickup. No, this movie probably does not have a Blu-ray, but the new guy I remember watching this for some reason all the time when I was in high school uh, with the kid from Road Trip in it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I just got out of FYE and they are seriously shrinking their physical media section. Like they've taken out almost everything from the front of the store. They used to have a bunch of bins that you could look through, but it's all consolidated to like two aisles and there's a couple stands back there for their like screen factory. They're very expensive screen factory and some steel books and stuff like that, but um yeah it's kind of sad it's kind of sad they have some cool collectibles in there though but i did go ahead and get this uh, hostile double pack i usually don't love getting these kind of double packs but i figured for these movies um i don't know hopefully they're on separate discs um but yeah the hostile movies i'm not the biggest fan of these movies but i do you know enjoy them i guess for what they are kind of like i enjoy the saw movies i don't love the saw movies but they're movies that i feel like i need to have in my horror collection i think i have hostile on dvd but i don't have uh hostile to it all so yeah when i grabbed this only seven dollars for both these so that's 350 a piece so not a bad price at all uh to grab this and yeah i dig the uh I dig the artwork on it. I like the yellow banner inside, so I went ahead and grabbed this one. It's not a bad double pack. So, all right, that's what we got in FYE. Let's head to Barnes & Noble. We are here at Barnes & Noble, and there's no Criterion sale, but we're going to scope out some of the new Criterion releases, hopefully. Fingers crossed. They do have a nice little arrow video section in here now. They didn't used to, but they have this. My stepmother is an alien. They've got basket case, bird with the crystal plumage, cat on nine tails that got re-released. 4K. So yeah, they got a nice little, nice little arrow video section. This is a new title that just came out last week. Red Angel. I did an unboxing on my channel, and this one came out today. So we got a new title in stores today with Sleep. Pretty cool. Also, Shock is one that uh, came out last week as well. I just watched this for Western Month this week. This is freaking amazing. <laughs> I absolutely love this movie. Going to be talking about it more soon. Um, and also this one, Shane, on DVD. It's a cool cover. I uh, really enjoyed this one as well. So far, looking at the Criterions, I'm not seeing the new piano title or Dick Johnson is Dead. But uh, let's see. I did find the red shoes. This is $50 here though, so I'm pretty sure it's a lot cheaper on Amazon. But yeah, not seeing the new titles anywhere here. Trying to see. Sometimes you'll find the new ones like behind it because they're the alphabetize them. But yeah, I think One Night in Miami is a one that came out in December. So seeing some of the December releases, but not none of the None of the newer ones. This is one that came out this month, The Celebration. So this is a newer Criterion in stores. I think it came out at the beginning of January. Interesting cover art with this one. A lot of these classic westerns on DVD, you got The Treasure of Sierra Madre with Humphrey Bogart. Heard a lot of good th things about this one. 
have it inspired there will be blood so definitely want to watch it at some point or if i ever saw this in best buy but they got this 10 commandments steel book uh, for 33.99 but it's 30 percent off it's a nice steel book. We do have this black history and culture um, section right here, just in time for February. So a lot of great films in this section, um, including the Sydney Poitier film, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which is just a DVD, a lot of DVDs, which I appreciate, um, you know, Barnes and Noble paying respect to the DVD. We also got this cool Digipack, the Tuskegee Airmen. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. Uh, but that's a really cool set right there. This is a new title that also came out this month, but Time, that's uh, $39.99 for the Blu-ray, and they also have the DVD for $29.99. Uh, this is a cool edition, Richard Linkletter Slacker. I feel like I've heard some good things about this one. It's a cool digipack. I've never seen that release. So got a release that came out last week, Titan on blu-ray so that's pretty cool but this is way cheaper on amazon another cool thing they have here barnes and noble guys is in the indicator uh blu-rays uh girl stroke boy the brute peter sellers is hoffman the blockhouse so yeah four indicator titles i don't think i've seen those out in a while before so that's pretty cool they have this movie mass which i'm pretty sure is a new release i don't think i got a blu-ray though i think it's just dvd for now uh, but I've heard some good things about this movie. All right, guys. So I didn't see any of the new titles. They didn't have the piano. They didn't have the Dick Johnson is Dead. They had the other Criterion January titles that uh, has been out for a couple weeks. But they also had some interesting like uh, stuff like the indicator titles that I saw in there. I didn't expect to see those. Uh, they had Titan from last week. So they had some cool stuff to kind of browse around and look at. Um, I did grab one thing in there. And I grabbed this because I'm always seeing like, you know, people showing these off on Instagram. And I don't really buy a lot of magazines and stuff like that anymore, but this one just looks really cool. Uh, but the Fangoria magazine, I went and grabbed the newest edition. It's got like the black phone on it, uh, which the movie I think is coming out in February, but I'm excited to see that a movie written by Joe Hill uh, or the book based on based on the book by Joe Hill. But yeah, Fangoria magazine, I'm seeing like Instagrammers showing this off all the time. Um, and I'm like, I want some cool horror uh, swag, some cool horror reading material. I don't know. I'll get into it. I'll read it. It's really nice. It's like a really thick magazine, almost like a book, really. So um, I'm excited to dig into that. But that's the one thing I got in there. It's a little expensive. It's like $20, uh, which I remember when magazines were like five bucks. God, they've gotten they've gotten out of control recently. No wonder everybody just reads everything on the internet. Uh, the prices are way too high. But all right, guys, we're not going to go to Target's. I don't think that Target's going to have anything. I mean, I know that they're not. They don't even have anything on the regular new release days when there's actually stuff to put out. There's nothing coming out today, so there's no way that Target's got anything um, on the shelves. But we are going to go to Walmart to see if they got those slipcovers in. Fingers crossed that they do. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your favorite Walmart frontiersman, the hillbilly hunter, is back again at Walmart to hunt for some slipcovers. I don't know why Ken's got me out here hunting for these slipcovers here at Walmart. Out in the damn cold again. God, it's too cold for a hillbilly out here, guys. Well, we gonna go in there, guys, and we gonna see what the Walmart's got. So I looked up front, and they didn't have these, but all the way in the back, back here by the TV section, is where they're keeping these awesome slipcovers. They probably had them last week when I came in here. Uh, but look at these things, guys. These are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what the price is, but I don't have the expendables, I don't think. So I can definitely get one of these. Um, they got a cool dread one. This is pretty damn awesome. The kick-ass one's pretty awesome. Again, I own 4Ks of both of these movies, so I don't really want to double dip on them. But these slipcovers, guys. I'm trying to see what's... Yeah, Hellboy is behind this one. The David Harbour Hellboy. Um, so, I mean, I don't own this, but that movie's not the best. But, yeah, these are incredible slipcovers. Let's go to the other side. And these right here are DVDs, but they have the John Wick films, John Wick 1 and 2. They got Rambo. I think that's... Uh, is this the new Rambo? Um, no, I guess that's the classic Rambo. No, this is the one from 2000 and, uh, 2008. They got Leatherface, so that's pretty cool. But I do like this Halloween 2, the Rob Zombie Halloween 2 cover. But yeah, I'm not going to buy it on DVD. Oh, they also got Django. Damn, that is awesome. These slipcovers are awesome. The Last Witch Hunter, uh, Leprechaun, but again, DVD, so I'm probably not going to get those. 
over here trying to see kickboxer with van dam that's awesome more t2 slips um but again yeah these are dvd so i would love to get the kickboxer uh we got van wilder that's that's pretty cool i don't know what these are what are these i guess they're lionsgate i guess they're all lionsgate got De Niro, Uncle Drew. More on this side. Don't know what the prices of these are. They don't have the prices, but they have John Wick 1 and 2. Uh, did we double dip on the Punisher today? Get a Punisher slipcover right here. They got Highlander, but again, these are all ones that I already have. Um, I already have different slipcover variations, so I don't want to double dip. Sicario, I just got a slipcover for that, so... These are cool slips, but I don't know if they're worth double dipping for, but I'm just glad I found them. They do have copies of uh, Candyman Day of the Dead, so plenty of copies of that here at Walmart for $12.96. So cool to see another Vestron title here at Walmart. And over here, guys, I'm seeing mostly the same stuff that we have been seeing, but I don't think I've seen this lockdown, the lockdown hauntings with uh, Tony Todd, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, but everything else, Chernobyl 1986, that might be a new title. We also have the Emperor's Sword, so we got the Blu-ray and the DVD of that one, Saint Mod on DVD. The Match, I feel like, is new. Um, and then you got this uh, Vengeance is Mine, I think that's new. So yeah, they actually do have some new stuff here at Walmart today. Escape from uh, Death Block 13. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Here at the Walmart. So. Yeah, so I had to go ahead and grab uh, one of those Lionsgate uh, slip covers, but I didn't double dip. I grabbed the movie that I pretty sure I don't have in my collection. I could be wrong, but I got the Expendables, just the first one. Uh, if I go back in the next couple weeks, I may grab the other two. Hopefully, they'll still be there. Uh, so I can complete the set. I remember watching this movie when it first came out. I didn't love it, uh, to be honest, but you know, I'm open to revisiting it. I've heard the Expendables 2 is actually a better movie. Um, so yeah, I'll probably end up picking that one and the third one up on, uh, next week's trip or just in the next couple weeks. Cause I think that those will still be in stock, but some of these slip covers in there guys were absolutely amazing. I love the Highlander slip cover, but again, I already had a lot of those already on Blu-ray and DVD. I loved, uh, some of the movies they had in the DVDs I didn't own and would have loved to have gotten if they had Blu-rays like, uh, Van Wilder, uh, would have been an instant pickup on Blu-ray kickboxer with John claude Van Damme. I almost thought about getting that kickboxer one just the DVD uh, just to have a Van Damme film in the collection but overall guys this was a pretty fun uh, trip today you know we didn't go to Target so I didn't have to feel depressed about going to Target and them having nothing. Walmart delivered today with the slip covers. They had some uh, Walmart titles as well so that was cool. The Punisher Steelbook and Best Buy was cool so uh, Barnes & Noble had some new stuff. FYE I got some cool, uh, cool pickup in there so overall today guys I was happy with today today's trip i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below what did you find in stores this week did you go out did you pick up anything new anything old anything new i know not a lot new came out this week so what did you grab just random titles let me know in the comment section below and appreciate you guys watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like this video guys turn on the bell notifications follow me on all my social media accounts those links are in the description and i'll see you guys later